Hi everyone, Arlen here in my car. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How's everyone doing today? I hope this fine day finds you all feeling well and able to traverse through your days with limited pain. Hey, I'm sitting here following Chris. He's got our minivan and we're gonna drop that off at the place where we go and get uh, state, the state inspection done. And then we're gonna go and go to lunch. Get it inspected. And then I'll be calling to make my puppy dog's vet's appointments. They need to go to the vet, Sophie and Sam. Sam needs his shots first, but we might take Sophie first because of that leg of hers. I might need to break down and get an x-ray on that just to make sure that it's nothing more serious. I'm a little worried because she's older and she's a Newfoundland and they... Osteocarcinoma runs pretty rampant and news so need to make sure I think she's just pulled her cruciate or hopefully not torn it but we'll see and then Sam needs to go in he needs a bath or something before he does so whew, he needs some work done on him But anyway, it's a pretty day here. It's only 40 degrees, though. It's chilly. Sunny, though. Bright and sunny and pretty. And it's supposed to get warm this weekend. It's supposed to get up in the 70s this weekend. But that's more like it. <laughs> oh, my gracious. All right. We have a ways to go yet. So, I'll close for now. And again, I don't mean to be a negative Nancy. I'm never a negative Nancy. And I'm really sorry about that. And I'm not even sure I'll even post this, to be honest. I'm just venting. But anyway, I have nothing else really to talk to y'all about today. I don't have a craft plan. <laughs> I'm not doing my organizing yet. Because we needed to do this. And I didn't want to get involved, you know in something a big project like that that's a that's a bit of a project so to be honest I say that a lot don't I to be honest I love that to be honest I'm just messing with y'all say that a lot too <laughs> oh brother all right catch y'all a little bit later bye for now I just dropped Chris back off at the place where we got it inspected, got our state inspection done, and he had them, or, um, oh my gracious, balance the tires, had them balance the tires. So, got all that done. Now, I am going to, he's going to go to Lowe's. He said he's going to look for some pots or something for his tomatoes. Our soil is not wonderful quite yet. He's working on the soil, but I think he's going to put tomato plants in um, pots instead of in the ground. So he's going to look for big pots. He said he saw like half barrel pots there the other day. So he's stopping at Home Depot on his way. Look out. I'm going around the pothole that could eat my car. Goodness gracious. And I'm going to head over to Bed Bath & Beyond. I've never taken y'all in there before. I feel sure you all have a Bed Bath & Beyond in your towns. But I'm going to go in there and show you ours a little bit. And I am going to be looking for uh, a comforter set. I probably won't buy anything today. But Kristen said that she needs a new comforter for her lakes so I thought I would go in there and look and she has she loves that pretty green color that I have in the uh, living room so that's her favorite color that's how and she that. has her whole place decorated um, she's got it more modern pieces than I do but it is very pretty 
and uh, she needs a new comforter set. So I thought I would go in there and look for her and see if they might have something in there and I don't know, I'll just tootle around in there and see if there's anything I like. I don't have my coupons with me. I have tons of 20% off one item coupons at home and I know for a fact that if I do find something that I want to buy that I can go ahead and get it. I have one of the coupons on my phone but you can use multiple in there at one time but uh, so I could go home and, and another day save my receipt and bring my receipt back with the coupons and they will honor them just in case you all didn't know that you can do that at Bed Bath & Beyond they have a lot of nice things in here they've got this is where I got all of my window blinds and draperies uh, for the front of the house all of the curtain rods all of the curtain rod tie back metal metal claspy things and I, I had gotten for those of you who have not seen my whole home tour I had gotten a coupon from Bed Bath & Beyond somehow they found out that we were moving and I don't know whether when you put a like a change of address form into like the post office or something they all of a sudden know that you're moving but um, I feel like this is not pointed up right there we go that's a little better but we got a 20% off of the entire purchase coupon I was like hello what is that so that is why I was able to get like bathroom curtains for upstairs you know those curve rods that uh, give people those bathrooms up in our the upstairs of our houses they're so little that we thought we need to give people a little bit more room in there so we pulled you know we got some of those rods that kind of bow out to make you feel like you have a little bit more room in the bathtub when you're showering so we got them there I mean all tons of stuff there and I spent a ton of money but I saved a ton of money with that coupon so if you guys are ever getting ready to move be on the lookout for that you know it looked exactly like the ones that uh, come that are just 20% off for one thing so be sure to read it carefully and you very well might find one that's 20% off your entire purchase which really did save me a, a good bit of money where are you going buddy so that's where I'm headed and I'm gonna go in here and see they have dishes and dish towels and all right you guys in we go and I don't know if there's going to be music playing in there or not but if there is I'll probably end up doing a voiceover so we'll see how this goes and I will try not to move too fast <laughs> and all right I'll see you when we get into bed bath and beyond Well, I walked in and guess what? There was very familiar music playing. So I knew that I needed to do a voiceover. So here we go. And I do try to go kind of slow and I see that I took about 18 minutes of footage. So I am going to be cutting this back just a bit. But they have a plethora of items in this store going from this is the kitchen area here you can get you know sink mats and sink racks trash cans you know drawer inserts like for your silverware there's a nice little lazy susan which you know i remember i was standing there thinking to myself right then i remember back in the 80s when I used to want a Lazy Susan like that, I wanted to put, like when you have like, uh, say, hamburgers or tacos and you need to pass the cheese and you need to pass the tomatoes and, you know, I always wanted a Lazy Susan and could never find one. And then, you know, there you go, you find one like that. But anyway, this is just the kitchen area and I go on through here a little bit. kind of the Wilton cake area and uh, cake pans and 
I think I pan up here to see this whole wall of <laughs> wooden spoons and other types of utensils. Someone once asked me what we use on our hardwood floors. And this is the product, it's called Bona, that our builder suggested. Bona for hardwood floors. And I do have a mop just like that. And you, it has a trigger on it. And you can spray the floor and then mop. And you can see it has a removable thing on the bottom that you can remove and wash each time. And it, it spiffs up my floors nicely. And here I go. I just kind of poke around for you guys to... This is all kinds of silver cleaner and... I stop and look at this stuff because I, I really kind of need a good silver cleaner. I didn't buy anything but silver wipes. I thought that was pretty spiffy. They have a lot of tea towels and placemats and tablecloths for every season. I thought they were nice. I just kind of, you know, pan around here so you guys can see. I do get plugins from here. And I do pick up one here in a second and throw it in my basket. Sold. <laughs> And on we go. Have a lot of dishes, different patterns of dishes, and serving dishes and silverware. I'll tell you, I normally use Fiesta ware. That's my go-to kitchen ware, by the way. It's nice and strong and sturdy and comes in pretty colors. Now I'm coming into the comforter section. Comforters and quilts and blankets and sheets and all kinds of different things. And I start looking for Kristen a comforter or, you know, they have those bed in a bag sets. And I really didn't find anything that she would like. So I do pan around here a little bit. Here are other quilts. You can see our bedroom quilt up there, kind of second from the top, rung. <laughs> Obviously, I got that quilt here in Bed Bath Beyond. I didn't see anything for Kristen, so I kind of kept going. They have a lot of pillows. and blankets. It's endless in this place, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> I'm just about finished now. I'm kind of coming back up to the front of the store. And they have all their outdoor furniture out and stuff to use at the beach and the pool and that sort of thing. And then I head on over here to the clearance section, <laughs> just to see if I see anything. The clearance section is right in front of me there above the frozen posters. There we go. I didn't see anything. So I moseyed on. And I do pick up some of this Werther's Original Caramel Popcorn. Yummy. That is good stuff. 
pop that in and that was all I got. I'm going to make my way to the register here in a second. So there you go, a glimpse into our bed, bath, and beyond. If you're Jimmy Buffett fans there, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I head to the register right about now. So I'll see you back in my car in a second. <sighs> Okie dokie, as you saw, I had to do a voiceover. They had music playing, and I'm not going to take the chance. You know, I might as well just do a voiceover. And it's a nice store, huh? And lots and lots and lots of stuff. So, I did pick up the Yankee Candle scents. I have the plugins. I'm really careful with those. I did want to mention this. I do use plugins, but if I leave the house for any you know, like overnight stays or anything, I always go around and unplug them because uh, they can be a fire hazard if they get empty and they can be a fire hazard. So be aware of that. If you didn't know that already, I feel sure you did. <laughs> but I thought I'd mention it just in case. And I bought some of that popcorn. Bought that popcorn for Chris, but I guess he likes that. And my Aunt Barb, we were, in, my Aunt Barb and Cousin Stacy and Krista and I were down in Williamsburg one day and uh, she bought some of that and boy oh boy we scarfed that stuff down like you would not believe <laughs> so I'm heading home and right before I got in the car I had read a lady's request that she wanted me to turn the not that she didn't like looking at my smiling face <laughs> but she wanted me to turn the camera around every now and again so that you guys could maybe take a peek out to see uh, the surrounding area. And she said it looked like it was about ready to pop for spring, and it, it is around here. Uh, so I there's a spot that I have to drive through to get to our, back to our house, and I may do a little recording of that um, on the way here. I'm not, there's not a lot of trees in bloom right now. The cherry trees are trying but we were hit with some pretty bad weather, as you all know. And north of us got it even worse than we did, a lot worse than we did, but it really hurt our trees. So uh, there's not a lot popping right now. It might be better to do this sort of thing in another week or so when all the dogwoods start coming out. I think we looked at the long grade forecast and it looks like we're done with our freezing nights now. And as I said earlier, it's supposed to get up in the 70s this weekend, so hopefully it will just get better and better and better as time moves along here. Then we'll be into the sweltering, oh my God, it's 100 degrees with 100% humidity, which always happens here in July and, and August and even into September and sometimes the beginning of October. It is just stinking hot around here. It's just not pleasant. There's no like ocean breeze. <laughs> <laughs> to cool a girl off and today. The sun is shining bright. As you can see, get a little sun on my face. Not that I need that. <laughs> so, I'm really looking forward to not being able to cover up this lovely neck of mine. Ugh. All us girls and our family, <laughs> cousins, we complain about our necks. It doesn't matter whether you're thin or fat or somewhere in between. All of us have that same neck. It's not attractive sometimes, so. But I am who I am. I sure haven't hidden anything from you guys. <laughs> you know me warts and all, that's for sure. somebody looks like they've been drinking or something here in front of me they're probably texting and driving going back and forth and back and forth. oh now he's got his blinker on pulling in this in front of this truck oh, goodness gracious got lots of farmland around here which is that's a farmer's field there next to the right there see like I said not a lot of trees in bloom quite yet it's 
traffic is terrible. It's PM is 55 here. People are going about 40. There's a cement truck up here holding everything up. Let's see if I can get around these people. I'll get over in the right lane and let you guys take a look without having to pass cars. tell you about 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. road work ahead ah, check out that sign Oof, I'm not gonna be going down there so here we go this is one of our little this is a little cut through road but it's just 25 miles per hour and you have to go 25 miles per hour in there or less or they will get you but there's Civil War trenches here those of you who live in Pennsylvania your battlefields are a lot um, more uh, like in Gettysburg there you know you give guided tours and all that stuff <laughs> not here you ride down a road and there are placards beside you you can see what battles took place and uh, there's a some war trench here you can kind of see there and, uh, this is you can imagine this in the spring when all the leaves are on the trees and the the trees are kind of hanging over let me kind of pull over like that hanging over the road in the middle it's really pretty and in the fall oh, really 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 pretty so and this is kind of what it looks like around here everywhere Department of the Interior. I have no idea what in the world they're doing. U.S. government. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. All right, I'm heading home now. And that's going to do it for today's video. And I don't have anything going on the rest of the weekend. I don't have a craft planned. So I don't know whether I'll do any organizing tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what I've got on my agenda. So, this was kind of just another chit chatty day because I'm not doing a lot of decorating because I've got my Easter decor all finished, you know. So, I think we're just going to call it a car chat and a little tour through Bed Bath and Beyond and call it a day. So, gotta pay attention here. I will just say, until next time. Y'all take good care. Bye-bye. Hang on a second. I have one more thing. Check it out. Chris got my pictures up. There it is on that side. And there it is on that side. And there's the new location for the doorbell. <laughs> And he did patch and spackle the hole underneath the picture. Patch, spackle, and paint. What a difference two pictures can make. All right. I hope that y'all have a great weekend. And I'll be catching you later. Until next time, y'all take good care.